All right, today we're going to talk about accessing your inner powerhouse, awakening your own inner powerhouse. How do you access that power within? So I'll give you some specific guidelines that I use and that I help my clients use. I talk about the powerhouse being a physiological power that you have. Uh, we, we practice this when we practice Qigong, uh, utilizing that energy, that force that's within you. Now, make no mistake, this isn't about forcing something. In fact, it's quite the opposite. It's about using that inner power that is opposite of forcing things. It's the flow. It's uh, the definition of abundance. And a lot of folks think, oh, it's abundance means I'm going to have lots of money or lots of things. And in fact, that's not what abundance is. Abundance is flow. You're in the flow. If you have abundance, you're in the flow. So we'll talk a little bit about that today. So stick with me all the way to the end and I'll share with you some tips that you can utilize to awaken your inner powerhouse. And if we're just meeting for the first time, hi, I'm Stefana Johnson. And this goes on to my Monday morning mentoring at yourholisticmentor.com. It's a place where I blog and share uh, more than just the fitness, the health fitness that I do with the founding, the work that I do with uh, Yoga Lachi. I think that's foundational to all of us as human beings. We have bodies. These are our homes. We want to be moving and uh, doing well so that it houses our other powerhouse, which is our brain, our subconscious, our um, inner guidance system, our autopilot, which is our subconscious, right? And we want to make sure we understand how that is programmed. That's for another episode, but I will get into it and touch a little bit on it because I want to talk about how that accessing the power within is interwoven in everything you are your body, your mind, your energy, your mental space, all of that, and how you need to, and all of us need to reconnect to it and really take back the controls. Um, I think it's, uh, it's clear that we've been kind of in this precarious situation with uh, some outside forces putting us in a false state of fear. And I do mean it when I say a false sense of fear. Uh, it's been perpetuated. It is, it is not something um, that we need to buy into. All right, so let's talk about how you can tap into that uh, power within. The first piece that I wanna talk about is separating out from the duality of right and wrong thinking or positive and negative thinking or black and white or good and bad or Democrat Republican, right? It's a duality that is a false energy for us as uh, individuals, as beings, as spirits, as, as energy fields, right? If you keep holding on to that, you're always going to have the duality, one, uh, one needs the other in order to stay put. And it fixes the idea that something is stuck. So what I would like you to do is get this idea of separating out or separating um, and, and maybe rising above that thinking of duality so that you can shift into this idea of truth thinking. You want to be out, out of this what's right, what's wrong, and go into what's truth, okay? Truth for you. And, you know, we can't question truth. Truth is truth. Um, but we can get into the right and wrong. And when you're stuck in that right-wrong duality, truth apparently becomes uh, confused. It, it becomes something that we can second guess. And, well, maybe that's not. But truth is always going to remain the truth if you but look. And when you operate from absolute truth, you shift everything because positive and negative thinking, right and wrong thinking, Democrat Republican thinking, black white thinking is all filtered through your belief system. Okay, so I'll say that again. 
right and wrong thinking is filtered through your belief system. That's why we have opposing sides to anything, to anything, okay? If you rise above that, that is where the foundational absolute truth lies. That's where you want to be. That's where you want to get connected to. That is where you are going to access the power within because you will have unshakable con uh, confidence. You will have absolute clarity when you understand the absolute truth. As soon as you get into opinions again, well, that's bad, that's wrong, you know that you are back into that duality. So what you have to do is find the truth. How do you do that? I, I believe that the way to seek absolute truth is within. That's why I say access the power within. And I believe that each of us has an inner higher self, you can call it. And, and with that, when you always seek to know the truth from the inside about any situation, any circumstance that you're involved in, that you are observing, you begin to look beyond your present belief system and then if you, if you ask your higher self, okay, and how do we do that? We get quiet and we shut off all the other opinions, all the other right, wrong, all of that. We get quiet and you ask your higher self. It is always going to give you the real truth. You will always, it will be revealed to you. And I I challenge you to seek out that silence so that you can practice this and have that practice of having the truth revealed to you. If you're ready for it, if you're ready for it. Um, if you're ready to hear it, you're gonna hear it, absolutely. And that's how that is really what accessing your power within is about. When you then act on that truth, then you are tapping into your power source in true health, in wealth, in anything, okay? In happiness. Because if you go in and tap into that truth and it's revealed to you and you don't act on it, that's building up and perpetuating, and in fact, I think shutting down for many, we've seen this just as working with so many clients over the years, we can always trace back where things went off the rails when they did not act on the truth that was revealed to them. The inner truth, okay, the higher self truth. We can call it intuition. Some people get very confused on their intuition. They don't know if that gut can be trusted because they're not sure, maybe that's something else. And then I hear a lot of folks getting confused about, I don't know what my inner guidance is. You will know. You will absolutely 100% know that inner power, that inner truth. I was going to talk a little bit about God and devil, because again, that's duality and that's a belief system. So if I'm stepping on toes there, I'm going to, I'm going to just say, you know, we, we may not be a right fit because in, in what I'm working with, with regards to your inner powerhouse, we are stepping outside of that zone of good, bad, right, wrong, God, devil. Those are all dualities and they are man-made set up to keep that cycle of push pull to, to keep this held in place, to keep the lie held in place. Now, what happens when you set, shed some truth? All of that energy stops being this, push, pull, push, pull, right, wrong, uh, right? This duality crumbles and you rise above to the truth and you see your true powerhouse. You start operating from that. And it is a very different experience for your life, 
for your world, for your relationships. And that that's my focus. That's what I work work on and work with with my clients, okay? So I think it's even more necessary in this time of 2020 with what's going on. And we have the power within us to shift this, to rise above the belief system that is being pushed out there. Because again, it's a belief system. It's not truth. Look deeper, look within, shut down the outside input of Believe this, this is what you need to be thinking. And then fear can be placed on that. Rise above it, get to the truth. Truth shall set you free. Someone very wise said that once. All right, happy Monday. Have an amazing week. Uh, this is also gonna be part of a seven, seven class. I'm gonna set this up to practice this for seven days on really awakening your inner powerhouse, how to tap into that using Tai Chi, using yoga, using... Uh, Qigong, all of that was to yoke that mind, body, spirit. Yoga was a practice of that, um, very beautiful practice. It's Qigong, Tai Chi, that the capacity for you to use your energy in a way that helps you to enlighten is very powerful <clears throat> and fundamental to <clears throat> what we want to be doing with regards to rising above this playing field that we're uh, seeing us in on this uh, very interesting year of 2020. Remember, it's a game. Remember, you, we, we, can, we can really shift out of this and we don't have to um, go into agreement with that. Again, beliefs, beliefs are just thoughts you keep thinking. So if you don't like them, let's change them. All right, have an amazing week.